Hello, and this is Talia again. I'm reading The Struggle. I'm still on chapter 7. I'm not sure what part this is now. I don't forgot. But anyway, this is where I stopped. His arm tightened around her. His face was buried in her hair. You're the mirror, he whispered back. It was good to feel him relax. Tension flowing out of his body as warmth and comfort flowed in. She was comforted too. A sense of peace infusing her. Surrounding her. It was so good that she forgot to ask him what he meant until they were at her front door saying goodbye. I'm the mirror, she said, then looking up at him. You've stolen my soul, he said. Lock the door behind you and don't open it again tonight. Then he was gone. Elena, thank goodness, Aunt Judith, said Aunt Judith. When Elena stared at her, she added, Bonnie called from the party. She said you left unexpectedly. And when you didn't come home, I was worried. Steph and I went for a ride. Elena didn't like the expression on her aunt's face when she said that. Is there a problem? No, no. It's just... Aunt Judith didn't seem to know how to finish her sentence. Elena, I wonder if it might be a good idea to not see quite so much of Stefan. Elena went still. You too? It isn't that I believe the gossip. Aunt Judith is shorter. But for your own sake, it might be best to get a little distance from him too. To dump him? To abandon him because people are spreading rumors about him? To keep myself away from the mud slinging in case any of it sticks on me? Anger was a welcome release and the words crowded in Elena's throat. All trying to get out at once. No, I don't think that's a good idea, Aunt Judith. And if it were Robert we were talking about, you wouldn't either. Or maybe you would. Elena, I will not have you speaking to me in that way. In that tone. I'm finished anyway, Elena cried and whirled blindly for the stairs. She managed to keep the tears back and she was in her own room with the door locked. Then she threw herself on the bed and sobbed. She dragged herself up a while later to call Bonnie. Bonnie was excited and voluble. What on earth did Elena mean? Had anything unusual happened after she and Stefan left? The unusual thing was their leaving. No, that new guy, Damon, hadn't said anything about Stefan afterward. He just hung around for a while and then disappeared. No, Bonnie hadn't seen if he left with anybody. Why? Was Elena jealous? Yes, that was meant to be a joke. But really, he was gorgeous, wasn't he? Almost more gorgeous than Stefan. That is, assuming you like dark hair and, dark hair and eyes. Of course you like lighter hair and hazel eyes. Elena immediately deduced that a lark salesman's eyes were hazel. So we'll stop here and I'll continue.